You guys have been asking for it and I'm delivering. We are going to be doing a nice and semi-complicated unit conversion word problem. So let's go ahead and check things out here. As always, the first thing we want to do is read the question. Make sure that you're not getting distracted by all the information where you have all this, 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 this. You know, you really want to make sure you take the information in without compromising your strategy. So give yourself a nice piece of calm, cool, and collectedness by reading the question first. All we want to know is the total price. That's all we care about, the total cost of the materials. So give yourself, again, the opportunity to not freak out. So we want to know, again, we want to know the total cost of the materials equals blank. Now, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and start collecting our information. That way we can start sizing things up, seeing what potentially we need to do, what could we do, but we can't get there unless we know what the goal of the question is. We want the total cost. I see here that we're talking about buying two materials to complete a project. So it sounds like to me, we'll need to find the cost of the first material, find the cost of the second material, and then maybe add them up together. And that's actually the right way to go because we see that it says material A costs $2.11 per inch and you require 13 feet 10 inches of it. And then you have material B costing this much per inch and then you require 14 feet of it. So the reason that this isn't a straightforward, very simple question is because right here, we see that it says $2.11 per inch, but we require 13 feet and 10 inches. So that tells me that we have to convert units. Our price point is basically per inch. We can't just multiply 2.11 times 13 feet, wrong units. It says per inch, not per foot. So we have to make sure we convert. And look, I know how awesome it is to watch these videos, but how much better would it be to actually sit in a live Zoom class with me, being able to answer your questions and show you how to get things done back to back to back. I got your back. Go ahead and join our program trial. It's free for a full week. I am so confident that it'll help you raise your score that I'm not even requiring a credit card for you to sign up. All you have to do is confirm your email and phone number and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, click the link in the description or text TRIAL to 833-321-0182. And I'll see you there, my ASVAB party people. Let's raise that score. So that's where this is gonna come into play. For material A, we're gonna have again, $2.11 per inch. And we need to figure out what 13 feet and 10 inches is. We wanna know what that is in just inches because once we have that, we multiply the 2.11 by that total inch count, and then we're good. So 13 feet, how many inches is that? We remember that when we go from a big unit to a small unit, we'll multiply. One foot is gonna be 12 inches. So for every foot, we multiply by 12. 13 times 12, that's gonna give us 156. 12 times 12, 144. Add another 12, that's gonna be 156. So we have 156 inches here, and then we have to add up the extra 10 inches that we had before. So that's gonna give us 166 inches. Perfect. Now that we've converted, you know, you can pause the video if you wanna write down the rest, but now that we've converted, we are good. I'm gonna take all of this and delete it. Take that and delete it. Again, that's gonna be 166 inches. Those are the two values that I'm gonna be multiplying together. Then for part B, here's what I'm also going to do. And you're gonna be in for a surprise in a couple of moments if you're gonna be looking to solve this all the way through. Actually, there's gonna be a much shorter way to do it because of the way that the question is set up. But let's go ahead and take a look here. Material B, that's gonna be $2.12 per inch and we need 14 feet of it. So same as the last one, we need to make sure that we are writing down the right inch count. We have again, $2.12 per inch. And then we also have 14 feet. Well, to get that in inches, we're gonna do 14 feet multiplied by 12. So since we just thought about that, you know, 12 times 13 is gonna be 156. Well, 12 times 14, that's gonna end up being 168. You can do the math on by hand, sure, go ahead. But again, exploring mental math always gives you a much better, easier, smoother time down the road. So nonetheless, this would be 168 inches. And so what we'll do there is we'll go ahead and remove this. 
And boom, there we have it. So our answer is gonna be these two values here multiplied, and then once you have the multiplied, let me move that back there, and then once you have the multiplied, we'll add up the remains. We'll add up what those products were. Now, before I actually do all this multiplication, notice that we have three digits by three digits, three digits by three digits. So that's gonna be a lot of multiplication, right? That's gonna be a ton of multiplying. So because we know that, let's give ourselves the opportunity actually to explore some shortcuts. Very surprising, I know, but this is gonna be really, really awesome for us because if you look here, when we multiply these two values, well, the last digit is gonna be the last two digits multiplied. So I know, and this is a really cool thing, watch this. I know that if I multiply these, it's gonna end up ending up in, you know, I'll just write all those digits, it'll end up ending in a six. Because the first one times six, that's what's gonna dictate what the last digit is. Same thing over here, two times eight, well, that's gonna end up being whatever it is, but the last digit is gonna to have to be a six because two times eight is gonna be 16, boom, and that's what's gonna have it end up as a six at the end. Now, why did I do that? Well, look at your answer choices. My answer choices end in one, right over here, one, six, two, or three. Those are all the options. They're all unique, they're all different. So I don't have to sit here and do all that multiplication. No, 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 no. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and see that if I have these two values, and then I'm supposed to add them at the end, well, six plus six is gonna end up in 12, carry the one, doesn't matter, but it ends up in a two at the end, making my final answer C, the only one that ends with a two. You can use that method. If you notice those answer choices are all different, and you know how to solve, but you can save yourself time instead of doing 2.11 times 166, 2.12 times 168, you can avoid all that nonsense and get straight to what the answer should be. So to prove it to you, I'm gonna take these values and actually multiply them through and then add them together. So let's go ahead and do it here. We're gonna have 166 times 2.11, and I'm gonna work on this pretty quickly here. So we have six times one, six times one, one times one, six times one, six times one, one times one. Then two zeros here, six times two is 12, six times two is 12, carry the one is 13, one times two is two, carry the one is three. We do all that, we have six, 12, then we have ourselves eight, nine, 10, that's gonna be five, and then three. We are bringing back two decimals, so we'll have 350 with 26 cents. Next up over here, we'll do the math. And again, we'll bring it back and add it all together. So we'll do 168 multiplied by 2.12. Eight times two is 16. Six times two is 12, carry the one is 13. One times two is two, carry the one is three. Now we're here, eight times one, that's gonna give us eight, then six, then one. Two zeros here, eight times two is 16. 6 times 2 is 12, carry the 1 is 13. And then 1 times 2 is 2, carry the 1 is 3. So we have all of that set up. We're going to add all this up. I know how twisted and how curved this is. I know. So when we have this, we'll have 6. We'll have 11, 4, 10, 16, 5, and 3. Two decimal places again. Two decimal places here. So that'll end up being 356.16. Add these together. Notice how we had the six and the six exactly how we said we would have it. And then we have 12. Then that'll end up being four, six, 10, and seven. 706.42, 706.42, there it is. And that's how I proved to you that you actually didn't need to go through all of those mathematical steps if you saw that the answer choices had all different ending digits, meaning that you didn't have to do all the math you just had to figure out what the ending digit would be. So that's the advantage that you have when dealing with multiple choice questions. That can happen every now and then. So if you enjoyed this, my part of people, as always, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more videos on the way, but if you're looking to improve your ASVAB score dramatically, quickly, and confidently, then I wholly recommend my full program. It's the most affordable program out there. You get all my lessons, all the recordings, access to my online courses 24 seven, and you get practice tests to, our, to your heart's content to practice every step of the way.
So there it is, my ads about party people. Go ahead, text program to 833-321-0182 if you're interested, and I'll tell you exactly how it works and how you'll succeed. So with that, I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like the video and comment your favorite part. Cheers. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.